now that we have the front portion of our iPhone, you know, fairly blocked out where we'll be, you know, adding the speakers and the camera and, and I guess what would be the home button on the iPhone, we're going to continue to work from front to back here. And we're going to go ahead and make the geometry for what would be the actual metal pieces here or the metal piece that goes around the outside portion of the iPhone and the easiest way for us to go ahead and do this before we actually start um, cutting the detail into the back is we need to just simply duplicate faces on this so that we can save it for later and then we can start adding geometry to it and I want to do that now because if I start doing it later or if I wait until after I start you know adjusting the vertices on the back it's possible that we might have some sort of technical errors whenever we go to create that or too much geometry so what I want to do is I want to do it now this way that I don't have to you know worry about doing it later and since it's really just going to be a separate piece in the mesh so let's go ahead and turn the uh, the face back up here off which is just simply the glass I'm going to go ahead and bring the back portion of the iPhone into the into the scene so let's go ahead and press one and make sure that these are all lined up and I'm gonna go ahead and combine these and then I'm just gonna go ahead and double check just to make sure that we have all of our verts merged okay so I'm gonna go in here to the top view and I'm just simply gonna select all of these okay and then I'm just gonna hit merge and I simply just you know have a shelf button here as a shortcut so, so I don't actually have to go looking for it but if you want to find it it's under the um, polygon mu menu under the edit mesh tab and it's about three quarters of the way down which is right here and you can always you know turn the tolerance up to whatever you want but 0 0.01 should be good enough good enough for us to go ahead and merge it okay so now that they're all merged what I want to do is I want to go ahead and duplicate all those faces and that geometry so that whenever we need to start adding you know the details for the buttons and stuff it's gonna be that much easier for us to go ahead and do it so let's go into face selection mode here and I'm sitting W on my keyboard so that I can bring my manipulation tool back up and I'll just select one face and then double click the next face so that it's gonna select that entire row and then I'll do it backwards here so select this one and then select this one and you can simply to select that entire row of faces. So now I'll go back into the polygons menu, which is, you know, as you can see right here, back into the edit mesh menu. And I'm going to duplicate face, and this is just simply the, you know, default settings. Because if you set an offset, it's just going to duplicate it, which is like off the mesh. So let's just go ahead and hit close there, and I'll just go ahead and hit duplicate face here and I'm going to center the pivot freeze the transformations and delete the history on there and I'll deselect the actual iPhone body here if I can get a chance to select it oops gotta go back into object selection mode there and as you can see I just you know deselected it and I'll go back into the top view here and I'm going to go ahead and just scale this down to match the top portion of that iPhone as you can see there And now adding geometry to that at this point isn't going to be you know logical logical for us to actually go ahead and do that because I want to make sure that I adjust all these vertices on the back and make sure that I get everything placed properly before I actually start adding geometry to it. So for right now we're just going to go ahead and scale this up so that it's going to be a little bit larger than the actual iPhone and that might be a little bit too big. Right there might be okay. Well, you know what? Let's just go at, uh, go back a little bit, and we'll okay. We'll just go ahead and freeze the transformations, clear the history, and reset everything on it, and then we'll just go 1.05. Should be. Uh, it's probably too big. So let's go. one point zero zero two five that might be uh, still a little bit off so let's go one point zero zero three uh, that's probably too big 
are too small, so it'll go 1.007. Eh, <laughs> that's still. Let's go maybe 1.01. 1 .01. That 1.01 actually looks good. So we'll leave it at that. And then in the next lesson, we'll come back and we'll start adjusting the vertices for here here on the back for what will be, you know, where our camera will be placed and whatever else is on the back. So for right now, you can see that we have the actual side portion modeled in and created. And that's good. And then in the next lesson, we'll come back and we'll continue working.